Optimus 3D Max. It's 9.6 millimeters depth. Uh, it's got 1.2 gigahertz processor, dual core, dual channel, and dual memory. Um, it's got a 5 megapixel camera, which you can see on the back there, and it's got a 4.3 inch display. So if I just press the hop key at the top here, which is going to take us to our 3D menu, where you can play 3D games, you can take 3D photos, 3D videos, and then you can also use 3D YouTube. So if we go into the gallery here, we can see an example of a 3D movie that we've shot today here at the World Mobile Congress. We can also change that to 2D and then back to 3D with a touch of a button. Some of the new features on the Optimus 3D Max is we have a 3D game converter which is this app here. Now before games had to be 3D specific whereas now any 2D games or apps we can download and we can convert on the phone. Every to 3D. game? Yes. Okay. So if I press and hold down Google Earth and we create a shortcut <clears throat> we go to our main menu again it's now telling us that the app's 3D. So there we have 3D Googler. Okay? Yeah, that's nice. Also, another feature we have is the video ed editor, which uh -huh. is the first ever 3D video editor. So, we can just tap and select videos, images, and audio by doing so. Then, if we want some images, we just tap and select. Maybe we want to add some audio to. Now the best part about this for me is the export speed. So to preview in 3D, we need to save and export the file. So if we click on export, you see how fast? Yeah. So if even you had up to 10 minutes worth of video, it would only take one minute to export. And now we can preview what we've done. It's coming with a uh, 2.300. Yes, it's upgradable though. When? I'm not sure. It's not actually <laughs> launched to Q2, okay. so the phone isn't actually out yet. So it's selected European countries. But it's not available right now on this phone. Uh, when? Q2, quarter two. Yeah. Okay. Worldwide? Selected European countries. To be confirmed. <laughs>